Hi, this is Tim from CPU Cores. We're going to do a quick benchmark of using CPU Cores with the game Verdun. We're using Fraps to do all the benchmarking. As you can see, we have Fraps here. We have it set up to do the FPS and all the frame times and whatnot. If we click View. This is our Fraps directory. We're going to view the benchmarks using uh, the game just by itself, and then we're going to use CPU Cores with the game. So let's, uh, let's get started. We're going to minimize that, and we're going to just launch the game as is. We drag this over here. Now I have a G3258 dual core processor and a GTX 960 graphics card. And this setup that I have is meant specifically to be kind of your average uh, Steam gaming setup, your average gamer. Uh, half the gamers on Steam, for ex uh, example, have an actual dual core CPU. So now we're not going to start the benchmark until we're actually in the game. So let's just go ahead and first show you the graphic options I have for this particular game. Let's see here. Graphics, we have everything set to Ultra. Um, all right. So we're going to start the benchmark when we're actually in the game. And we'll benchmark it for maybe 30 or so seconds. We're going to run around a little bit. Hopefully we'll, we won't die. And the benchmark is going to start when we um, actually get in the game where we can move around and everything. So we're not going to benchmark any of these menus or anything like that. And this is a very CPU heavy game as well. Very, very CPU heavy. Um, what are we waiting for here? New match will start in one. All right. So we're not benchmarking any of that. We're going to benchmark just the actual game. So it looks like we're waiting for the new round uh, to load up here. I think this uh, this game is about the Battle of Verdun, which is a World War One battle. Um, I believe it had something like 300,000 people killed. Uh, the Germans versus the French. What are we doing here? Unlocking a couple of things. The game actually looks pretty decent. Um, I believe it's brand new as well. So yeah, here we go. Respawning in three seconds. Um, okay, so now I'm starting the benchmark. Hopefully we won't die. Um, Let's see here. We're going to try to do the exact same thing. So just move forward in a prone position. And then we are going to zoom in a little bit. We're not actually trying to play the game. We're just kind of do the exact same thing. Um, now we're just going to run and sprint and probably get killed right away. Okay, it looks like we killed ourselves. We are that good. <laughs> Alright, let's try this again. So we're going to run. Probably get shot because we're wide out wide out in the open here. Um, we're just trying to run around the uh, vegetation to get kind of like a, a good gist for what the game does and the uh, kind of make both, both benchmarks be the same, or relatively the same. So if we can shoot something we will, but uh, we're not going to stress ourselves out too much. We're just trying to run around and then we're going to go into a, a prone position or whatever this is called and then walk like this for about 15 more seconds or so. And uh, we can actually shoot something. Ah, uh, he shot us first. <laughs> All right. Um, okay, so we just ended the benchmark. Let's go ahead and exit out of the game here. Uh, the benchmark is no longer running, so we'll just quit out of the game. And we'll take a look at the benchmark stats in a moment. Let's uh, quit game. Quit. Okay, there we go. So let me minimize this. Let's take a look at what Fraps has showed us view and there we go fraps log let's drag this over here let me just close it so you guys can see there we go and it looks like our average fps was uh, 30 almost 30 and a half min and max and again this is a very very cpu intensive game let me actually just show you here see how my cpu is very very high during the gameplay and now this cpu is basically our video recording software so we drag this back down here so we had 30 average fps so we're going to close this and close this again, minimize this. Now we're going to fire up CPU cores. And what we're going to do with CPU cores is, let's see, where'd my fraps go? Okay, so if we view our fraps again, see how we have a log file here? Now we're going to do all the benchmarks again, and we're going to actually, all this is going to be duplicated with the new results. Uh, so we're going to close this again, and now we're going to launch it with uh, CPU cores. And CPU cores, by the way, it automatically detects all your games. You can um, modify it and get a uh, grid view, kind of look at all your games in a little bit of an easier way. Or you can just do this and 
type in VER, Verdun. Okay, so we have it set up to disable hyperthreading. This, this processor doesn't have hyperthreading, so it doesn't really matter. Isolate operating systems is going to be checked. We're not going to check the game on dedicated cores only. For a two core CPU, you basically want this disabled, like it says. Um, anyway, let's uh, get started. So we're going to click the start game. CPU cores uh, interfaces with Steam, or it integrates with Steam. So CPU cores does a lot of things. It puts your operating system uh, processes on one core. It kind of constrains and controls them uh, a little bit, as well as your non-game related processes. Um, and then it uh, integrates with Steam, and it tells Steam, uh, hey, execute this game now. Um, so anyway, here it is. We have our, uh, let's take a look at the graphics just so you guys can see they're all the same uh, as what it was before all ultra um, we're gonna click find match we're gonna do the same thing uh, rifle and let's do this one and play this map and we're not gonna start the benchmark until we're actually in the game able to run around and do whatever it is that we're gonna do um, alright so everything looks okay alright so I just started the benchmark and we just got killed or maybe we killed somebody, I don't know. So we're gonna do the exact same thing that we were doing before. We're gonna run around, go prone a little bit, and run around a little bit as well. Looks like we don't have a scope this time, I didn't pick it. Probably should've picked it. Um, but yeah, let's just run around. Probably gonna die. I feel like somebody's shooting me right now. But the goal is not to kill anybody. The goal is just to uh, you know run around and uh, try to get kind of the same type of benchmark that we had before and after. I feel like I could hear somebody breathing there. So we're going to run around for maybe... Oh, I actually killed somebody. Wow. And then we got killed. Whoops. Sorry about that. My Windows key accidentally got hipped. I don't play FPSs. <laughs> I get a little too nervous and uh, start hitting all the keys. Um, so we're going to run around for maybe 20 more seconds, 15 seconds. And kind of do the same thing. Let's um let's go prone this time. And the Battle of Verdun, I believe, was a grind fest. And we got killed again. Alright, so that'll be the end of the benchmark. So let me just end the benchmark. And we will quit the game. Quit the game. So when you quit the game the first time, it looks like you're actually just exiting the match, not necessarily the game. Alright, so there we go. Let's bring this over here. Um, actually, we'll just minimize that. Let's bring Fraps back up. Let's view the information. You can see we have two game logs in Fraps here. One of them looks like they're spaced apart a couple minutes, which looks right. Let's open this up. And here we go. So the first match, the first benchmark was this. And then the second benchmark with CPU cores is this. So let's actually do a little bit of math here. Um, normal game is... Uh, average of 30 FPS and um, with CPU cores average of 50 FPS by the way you see where it says min 7 now when you hit the window I accidentally hit the Windows key and it brought up my whole you know Windows desktop uh, type of thing and I believe that's the cause for what this was um, unfortunately um, I hit that key I get a little nervous when I play FPS games um, so let's see, um, CPU cores, it did plus, yeah, plus 20 FPS, which is equal, I suppose I don't really need a calculator for this, but whatever. Let's do, so we got a, basically 66% FPS increase. Now this particular Oops, let me go back here. This particular processor is a, uh, let me bring it up here, a G3258. It has a NVIDIA 960 graphics card. And this particular system was built specifically to be an, an average gaming system. Um, half of Steam gamers use a dual core processor. It's uh, very surprising, but half use a dual core processor. And then the other half basically use a four core processor. And so what I've tried to do is build a system that's just kind of like your average Steam gaming system. This system actually costs about $500 as well, a little bit less than 
So um, if you have a super fast processor or even a slower processor, your results are definitely going to be different. But for this kind of an average system here, we got a 66% FPS increase, which is staggering. Uh, this game is a very CPU heavy game. So that's probably why our FPS increased uh, by such a degree. Other games may be more CPU heavy, maybe less CPU heavy, and your uh, results are going to vary based on other games and other type of hardware. But anyway, I hope this uh, video helped explain how CPU core works and give you a little bit of a uh, demonstration of it with a particular game called Verdun. And happy gaming!